The Dust Bowl was one of the worst ecological disasters in United States history. It spanned most of the 1930s and devastated entire regions in the Great Plains. The epicenter of the event, and where most of the iconic dust storms occurred, was an area around the panhandle of Oklahoma and northern Texas. The Dust Bowl most severely affected areas in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, New Mexico, and Colorado. Some of the storms were so intense that residents reported not being able to see past five feet in front of them. The storms of the period also prevented farmers from being able to grow crops, forcing them to leave the affected area. But what caused these storms? Well, the period was marked by an unusual weather climate. There was record lows of precipitation, extremely dry air, and strong winds. Farmers could traditionally deal with one season of poor weather, but when faced with almost a decade of drought and despair, they had little chance of growing anything. Not only did the weather play a part, so did the development of the Great Plains. Most of the Great Plains had been extensively cultivated due to a rare wet period the decades before. This wet period encouraged farmers to cultivate more land than they otherwise should have. This left the plains with nothing but flat, empty fields when the droughts hit. The droughts turned the soil into dust, and with no trees or hills to stop the wind, the extreme wind easily carried dust out of the ground and into the sky, thus creating the dust storms that we call the Dust Bowl. The government response to the situation was extensive. Agencies tried to plant trees to create shelter belts and protect against erosion. President Franklin Roosevelt created plants to conserve the soil, and relief was also sent to the population of the area to ease the effects of the Dust Bowl. Government groups like the Soil Conservation Service also created soil maps of the regions. The government even bought farm animals off of farmers to ease the farmer's situation. However, the Dust Bowl would not end until record rains occurred in 1941, thus wetting the soil again for farmers to continue farming.